visiting Bailey Bob's Boneyard, where we're all about barkers, blood, books, boxes, and burps. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 2006 movie Pan's Labyrinth. It was directed by Guillermo del Toro, and it was starring Ivana Baquero. For those of you who don't know what Pan's Labyrinth is, it is also a foreign horror movie. So if you don't speak Spanish, you'll have to have subtitles, which is okay with me. It's still a great movie and it's worth it. Okay, so Pan's Labyrinth is a really cool, dark, creepy movie that is about this young girl. The, her name is Ophelia and she's with her mom in Spain in the 1940s and she comes across this fairy and this fairy basically leads her to an underground labyrinth and says hey you were a princess in a past life and we've been waiting for your return so we want you to come back and be the ruler of our underworld and she's like okay great cool so she goes on quests in order for this to happen from here on out i'm going to be talking it more in detail about what kinds of things happen so that will include spoilers So in the very beginning, when the young girl, Ophelia, is in the stroller with her mother, who's pregnant, and they have to stop because her mom is getting like pregnancy sickness, and she's nauseated and stuff. So when they stop and get out, Ophelia, the young girl, sees this bug. It's kind of like a stick bug, and it's flying around. And she finds this rock that she, that looks like an eye and she sticks it in this statue. And so the bug is like, oh, and this bug loves her and follows her to where she's going. And later when she's in her bedroom, this bug comes to her at night and she's like, are you a fairy? And the bug's like, and so she grabs her fairy tale book and she points and she's like, this is a fairy. And the bug is like, oh, and it, it morphs into a creepy looking fairy, like a weird kind of ugly fairy. And the girl's like, oh, you are a fairy. So she follows this fairy outside to the labyrinth and follows it down a deep hole. And there she meets the fawn. And this is the fawn's labyrinth. That's what Pan's labyrinth means. And this fawn, is it's got you know it's horse legs and it's human ish head i'm not sure exactly how to describe how it looks it's kind of monstrous and has horns and creepy fingers and he's he looks dark and demented but don't judge a book by its cover the captain is the one that ophelia's mother married who's her new dad or whatever He's a bad guy, he's the antagonist of the movie. He kills these people that he finds in the woods because he thinks that they're like the rebels when really they're not, they were just out hunting. But it was a really cool bloody scene. He takes, what was it, like a, he takes a brick or something. He takes something and he smacks this guy's head and he smacks his nose and you see his, face slowly caving in and he's all bloody and stuff and he, it's, it's pretty cool looking it's really brutal very bloody one of the quests that Ophelia has to go on is she climbs under a tree so it's super muddy and gross there's cockroaches crawling all over her and she has she has these magic rocks these magic pebbles whatever you want to call them pebbles rocks crystals and she has to throw them into a toad a big ginormous toad's mouth because he's eating all the bugs and ruining the tree, making the tree die. So she gets the marbles into this toad's mouth and he kind of like almost explodes, but then he melts instead. And he's a big pile of like glowing goo after that, that she has to reach in and grab a key which means that she finished her mission. Her mother, who has been having issues with her pregnancy, another bloody part that happens is that you can see that she's bleeding profusely, B 
because she's having pregnancy issues and it's stained and it's all over her dress and that freaks Ophelia out because it looks like her mother's dying. It looks like her brother is killing her mother. And that happens a couple times. It happens, I believe, twice in this movie and it's graphic and scary. The rebel people that are against the captain, one of them has a leg infection. You see them out in the woods in their little area and his leg is super, super beat up and bad and rotten. His leg is rotting off of his body. So the doctor's like, we're gonna have to amputate it. And the guy's like, okay. And they actually show him with the saw going and it shows the saw slicing into the leg. It's pretty dope. A really cool, probably most horror ish scene was when she goes into this area, this secret little place that she has to use kind of like a magic marker to open up the door as a portal to this place with a long table and a scary guy. His hands are on the table and he doesn't have eyes on his face. He's just like a blank face. The food is kind of like taunting her. So she eats food from the table, which she wasn't supposed to do, and that wakes up this guy. And so he grabs these eyeballs on the table and they suck into his hands. And then he like does this. And this is kind of like a, a famous face. This is a famous figure. And I didn't know where this was from until I watched this movie, but you've probably seen people do that creepy thing where they add eyeballs to their hands and do this. So that's what that's from. He also, grabs two of the fairies. There were three fairies. He grabs two of them and bites their heads off and eats them, which is kind of sad because they were just nice little fairies, but it's fine. It was funny. It wasn't funny. It was, it was a good scene though. It was fun. The second time that the mom bleeds profusely is when she's actually about to give birth. She's going into labor and it kills her. The baby survives, but we find out that the mom didn't survive. Mercedes is a, I guess, not a maid, not a servant. She's like a, what's the word? I guess we could say servant. There's a different fancy word that I'm, that's not coming to my head, but she serves the uh, captain, but she's secretly in the rebel group and he finds out and he ties her up and he's gonna torture her, but she secretly hides a knife in her dress and so she gets it and while his back is turned she she rips off her ropes and she stabs him she runs up to him and she stabs him and then she puts the knife in his mouth and goes and it slices his cheek and it is so cool looking if you are into war movies this also has a lot of scenes and different elements that are very much like what any other war movie would have it has you know, the men and guns and killing and running through the woods. And if you like that kind of stuff, it has that as well, not just all the creepy monster stuff. At the end of the movie, Ophelia has her little brother, her baby brother in her arms. She ran away from the captain with him and he caught up with her and he shoots her and he kills her and she's bleeding and he takes the baby, but the rebels caught up with him and they kill him and they save the baby brother. So everyone kind of wins, even though Ophelia is now dead and bleeding. It turns out to be a good thing that she died because in death, she was able to go to the underworld and serve as the princess. So even though her body is dead, her spirit lives on in the underworld. The main horror elements of this movie are dark fantasy and monsters because this is a fantasy movie, but it's a very creepy, bloody fantasy movie. And for the monsters, you know, that eyeball hand guy is definitely a monster. And the fawn, he looks monstrous, even though he's not really a bad guy. He's a nice fawn, but he's still creepy. Like if a little kid were to see him in their room, they'd probably be scared. Even though I wouldn't say blood and guts are a main element of it. It was still bloody enough that I'm gonna give it a high scale on my 
blood scale. I give it a 3.5 pints of blood out of five because it had really gruesome, torturous things and bloody things, even though that wasn't what it was all about. If you like this movie, please comment and let me know what you think, if you've seen it or not. If you have a different horror movie that you'd like me to review, I would love for you to leave a suggestion in the comments. Also, I wanna give a shout out to Andrew who suggested Pan's Labyrinth as a review. So thank you very much, Andrew. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And thank you for joining Bailey Bob's Boneyard. See you next time.